In this session, we will try to understand the concept of electric field. Let us consider two point charges. Plus Q and delta Q. Let's say the distance between them is R. So from Coulomb's law, you know the force acting on this uh, charge delta Q. Due to this charge Q. So therefore here the force acting on charge delta Q due to this charge Q is given by Coulomb's law. So according to Coulomb's law this force is given by Your neutrals. So therefore, by using Coulomb's law, we can easily determine the force acting on this charge delta Q due to the charge Q. But it is convenient to introduce the con concept of electric field. So before discussing about the electric field, we will briefly discuss about the gravitational field. So we know that suppose we have a, a large mass, let us say earth. So this earth results in a, what is known as a gravitational field in this region. So the gravitational field is denoted by the quantity G, so which can be described as the force acting on a unit mass or force per unit mass at this point. So suppose if we have a mass m here, then the force acting on this uh, mass m due to the earth's gravitational field is given by f is equal to mg. So here g is a quantity which uh, denotes the earth's gravitation field here. So you can say that g is the force per unit mass where mass is assumed to be very very small. So we can see that here G is a, a quantity which is given by force per unit mass m which is acting on uh, a body of mass m which is placed at this point. So similarly, similarly we can describe what is known as an electric field. So in this concept, so First, we will assume that as in the previous case, we have this uh, source charge Q and uh, here this so source charge Q sets up an electric field E. So therefore, we can see that this source charge sets up an electric field in the region surrounding this and when a charge delta Q is placed here, this will experience a force. So here, the electric field 
is given by force per unit charge f by delta q therefore electric field at a point is defined as the force per unit charge at that point so from the previous definition we can see that here e is given by force per delta q which is nothing but q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square r and the unit for electric field density is newton per coulomb or more commonly volts per meter is used as the unit for electric field intensity in the above definition of electric field intensity the test charge delta q is taken to be very very small the reason for this is explained now suppose uh, we have a, a source charge distribution something like this let's say it is uniformly distributed and we want to determine the electric field density at this point so to determine the electric field density if we keep a very large charge here which is comparable in magnitude to this charge then this source charge distribution will be modified or hence in order that the source charge distribution is not disturbed we have to take this delta q to be very small so here the electric field at p due to the source charge q that is in this case it is a point charge is given by e is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r so here vector r is given by vector r minus r dash and the magnitude is given by this quantity so therefore the electric field density is given by In this figure, we have two source charges Q1 and Q2, both are point charges, and which are located at R1 dash and R2 dash. And uh, the electric field at uh, point P due to charge Q1 is given by E1, and uh, E1 is given by Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. R minus R1 dash square similarly E2 is given by so here E2 is the electric field intensity at point P due to the charge Q2 so this Q2 is given by
So from the principle of super equation, the electric field at point P, when both charges Q1 and Q2 are present, is given by E1 plus E2. So this is due to the principle of superposition. So the resultant electric field is the vector sum of E and E1 and E2.